Hey guys, it's Sadalaw here, and today I'm going to show you how to decompile an APK with APK Manager. So let's just jump right in. Well, the first things you're going to need is, as a pre-requirement, is the Java JDK and the Java Runtime Environment installed as well inside of your system path. If you have any questions about that, watch my other video on how to install um, the Android SDK and Eclipse inside Windows 7. Alright, so let's go ahead and download it. Really, it's pretty simple. Just search for APK Manager, and it'll take you to XDA Developers. And you're gonna to want to download for whatever environment you're gonna be doing this on. If you're on Windows, right here, Linux, right here. Okay, so now we're going to need to go look for a new APK tool. So basically you just Google search APK tool and it'll take you right here to this page. And you're going to download this file right here and this file right here. In case you're wondering, I did download the Windows. I downloaded them both to my desktop. Here's the new APK tool, and here's the helper script with it, or vice versa. I'm not really 100% sure. So let's go ahead and unzip this, extract, and then we're going to extract this one right here. Make sure that's all good. Cancel. Okay, so we're going to open up the APK Manager folder and we're going to scroll to Other. We're going to copy this right here and paste it in here. Move and replace. Now we're going to go here this folder and we're going to copy here move and replace and that's pretty much updated well let's go ahead let's go ahead and fully update this I mean I got plenty of time let's go download the Android SDK We can close these other folders out. Okay, now we're going to take the zip line from here and we're going to drop it in here. And I believe that's all we need to do for now. Okay. So now we need an APK. So let's go on to our phone. And I'm going to use ES File Explorer because this is kind of easy away from me. Let's hit favorites. Hit slash. And let's go to system app. We're going to scroll down. We're going to get pro tips. Now, the reason I'm looking inside of here is because, as you can see, some of the names on here, like Google Quick Search, I mean, you might not actually know what these names are. But also, if you're used doing something out of data app, you're really going to want to know this name because the only name you're going to see is the package name and the string name. 
Okay, so protips.apk. So let's open up a command prompt. Hit the Windows flag key plus R, CMD. I always type ADB remount just because. And capital letters and lowercase letters are very much differentiated inside of uh, Linux or Android. Actually, yeah, let me, uh, but not Windows. Okay, so let's exit out of here. Now we can. On our phone, we're gonna long click Pro Tips, and you're gonna get several choices. What we're gonna want to click is delete. Yep. It's now Pro Tips is off our device. Now we can just go home, and I'm gonna minimize that for now. So let's open up the script batch. Now you have several choices here. Um. <clears throat> Quite a few choices. The ones that we're going to focus on right now is decompile APK and also set max memory size. Now we're not going to change anything with the set max memory size, but say you have a larger APK, you're going to want to increase that. I like to increase mine to 256. It just helps with things. Otherwise, you're going to get certain errors. But Pro Tips is such a small APK, it doesn't really matter. Or I could just be misunderstanding, but I've been using this for a while and it worked out pretty well. So. All right, um, and we're also going to be using compile APK, sign APK, and install APK non-system apps only. What 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 every APK has in it, and let's just let me just open this up real quick. We're going to drag Pro Tips to place APK here for modding. What every APK, APK has inside it is called meta in folder, and that contains the signatures. And if you sign it with the incorrect signatures, and it's part of a system app. It's not going to work correctly and it may crash some other things. But Pro Tips isn't a system app, even though it was located in the folder system app. Alright, so let's hit 9, D file APK. Uh, excuse me. Hey. <sighs> Alright, that's done. Now we're going to go into the products folder, protips.apk. Now everything is basically broken down into human readable code. And right here is the package name. Version. I mean, you can see basically everything here. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into res, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change what is shown whenever you uh, select the widget. So we're gonna go into values, strings, and widget name. Home screen tips. We're gonna change this to Asado Las. Widget. Hit Control S. Alt F4. Now we're gonna roll into styles, and nothing really want to change. But this right here is since we're messing with this. This is the text size. This is what you're gonna see on the screen. Um, what color? That kind of thing. All right, here we go, right here. Now this is what we want to change. Um, this is the words that you click on whenever you, uh, when you first see uh, Pro Tips. If you click on it, you're gonna see like different things. Like uh, the only rule of CyanogenMod is you don't ask for ETAs uh, available on ROM Manager and so forth. So we're gonna change this. Uh, mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I really want to talk some trash about somebody named Kush right now, just because of something he said to our developers. Uh, but I'm not gonna do anything like that. Uh, I always capture electronics. 
that's just me. I'm just I got like a fiery uh, personality, I guess. I dwell on shit. Okay, home is a garden. So we're just gonna change stuff. Always cat proof your electronics. Instead of saying that, um, my baby is the cutest in the world. Okay, we're gonna hit Control S, Control W, Alt F4. The only reason I hit Control W is just to close out that window. Uh, Notepad Plus Plus is really good and it'll hold stuff in there otherwise unlike regular notepad you have to basically guess where you left that text box in the XML app. Okay so now let's go to layout and I'm not going to change anything in here but I just want to show you where some of the uh, at layout droid at layout droid okay this is where some of the dimensions are for the APK and then this is your main XML this should be this is what I thought this is the main the main size of your widget um when your widget is come out it's come by like it'll say like four by two two by two um so forth this right here is what basically determines that but we're not going to change that because I'm just comfortable. This is just a small exercise. Control W, all that for. Okay. Now we can go back to Pro Tips, and we can look in Smalley, Com, Android Pro Tip. Now this right here is basically one thing that I've always said is that working with Smalley is almost like working with the source code because it takes everything and puts it in near human readable form. I mean it's, it's almost basically right back to where it came from. I mean you can't pop this into uh Eclipse or compile this but I mean damn. Okay so we're done we're done right now. Ah one thing that you do need to okay. So say you're using APK Manager to remove the ad because some ads are just ridiculous and they won't offer. One thing like Angry Birds, I respect the fact that they're getting money, but I don't respect the fact that they won't give us an opportunity to buy a, a, a paid version of the app. So what I do is, for instance, I'll take everything that you need is going to be in here in most cases. So I will right click and edit with notepad all these now hit control F find what HTTPs HTTP find all and all open documents okay so we have one okay we're gonna hit control F again so we're gonna find the files replace replace with Um, we're gonna just mess it up that way it's not going anywhere okay in this particular case we're not going to because I don't know what that is actually schematic.android.com let's look at that but anyways that's just to give you an idea because I don't want to post something like that right just yet uh, I will I had before so. all right so now we're gonna we're done messing with things we're gonna compile this so what we're going to do is we're going to compile, sign, and install. Did I just see an error? Okay, for some reason it didn't install correctly. So let's uh find out why. Open up the command prompt. 
this is the kind of life that you can live. ADD remount. Failure, install, failed, and update incompatible. Huh. Okay, so what in the, I'm not sure what happened there, but that's it's good that it did happen because now you could see how to deal with certain errors. First thing I tried was I tried to install it. Well, from what it looks like, it looks like Pro Tips wasn't since it wasn't properly uninstalled that it was still lingering around. So it's that install field update incompatible. Well, what that usually means is I need to reboot my phone, get rid of the nonsense. Then I hit ADB remount. And then ADB push and pushed it to where it needs to go, system app. So let's see if our work was done in vain. We're going to go to widgets. Oh, a side of laws widget. And this is what I was talking about with the uh, XML files. See all your apps. Blah, 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 blah. My baby is the cutest in the world. And then it has <laughs> it's a picture of the cat on there. Alright, so I'm going to end the video there. If you have some errors, the best thing to do is look at the error report. Use your best judgment because I don't have all the answers. I really don't. And that's how I'm going to end this video.